And you can't make this up either. That controversial federal program known as Operation Wide Receiver reports that the head of the Department of Justice's criminal division knew that the Division of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms allowed suspects to traffic guns across the border. Wide Receiver is similar to the Fast and Furious uh, program where the feds deliberately funneled guns to Mexican drug cartels. But this department head says he regrets now that he never informed his boss, Attorney General Eric Holder. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley is the ranking member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He's been investigating this uh, scandal and joins us now. So there was an operation before Fast and Furious that in many respects was very similar and should have been a heads up, as I understand it, to the folks at the Department of Justice. Yeah, wide receiver was very much a very smaller program and there tended to be uh, more uh, tracking of the weapons uh, and co coordination with people across the border in Mexico, maybe 300 weapons as an example. But in uh, Fast and Furious, there's about 2,000 weapons, and there wasn't any effort to track them across the, the border. So uh, the question that comes up today from Lanny Brewer uh, appearing before a committee, and then you know yesterday he gave some interviews on it, and you've uh, characterized those, uh, his statements very accurately. Uh, he, he was uh, asking questions about wide receiver at the very same time Fast and Furious uh, was going on and it was going on in the same division within the Justice Department so why wouldn't they be asking questions about Fast and Furious the same way as they were about wide receiver in other words does the left hand know what the right hand doing uh, the other one was maybe there was some reason to ask questions about wide receiver but they didn't uh, uh, want to follow up on fast and furious so all of this is something you know with this information and 650 pages of documents we got yesterday it's going to open up a whole new uh, uh, road for uh, and path for us to follow to get more answers to these questions. Eric Holder is the man obviously chosen by President Obama to run the Department of Justice. Can he point to Operation Wide Receiver, which apparently began under the Bush administration, and say, look, it isn't just us. This has been going on for a long time. Well, for, first of all, in the case of Wide Receiver, uh, as I indicated to you, there seemed to be more close cooperation with people across the border. Uh, that wasn't the case in Fast and Furious. The other one is, remember, in Fast and Furious, they had ample information coming from the grassroots of Arizona but within the Justice Department and also from licensed gun dealers uh, that said that this just isn't going to work. You know, and that prophecy turned out to be very accurate because people in Maine Justice wasn't listening to them. And then uh, uh, patrol agent, uh, Border Patrol agent uh, Terry was murdered uh, at, uh, with guns uh, from Fast and Furious at the scene of the crime. And Senator, uh, it's my understanding the Attorney General has agreed to appear in front of your committee next week? Uh, he, he's going to appear not for this reason. Uh, twice a year, the Attorney General comes up for what we call general oversight hearing. Uh, and I'm going to, of course, take advantage of, the, of that voluntary appearance for him to follow up on all this Fast and Furious stuff. On December the 8th, he's been subpoenaed and then I think ended up voluntarily willing to go before the House Committee. I see. Well, it's, uh, it's good of you to clear that up and uh, we'll look forward to hearing what his uh, testimony is in that case. Senator Charles Grassley, Republican of Iowa, thank you. Thank you.